Okay, uh, we'll call the uh, November 25, 2019 meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen to order. We are being <coughs> videotaped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing by our residents and the public. First item on the agenda, minutes. Okay, we have minutes for the November 4th meeting. Uh, has everybody reviewed those minutes? Yes. Yeah, they look fine. They look good? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Philip, are you good? He said, yeah. You well, I mean, <clears throat> there was the one thing in there about the school committee. Uh, at the time, the school committee was not going to fund the pavement the, the, through the grant. That this since then it was decided that they are, but I don't know whether it's net. That's it's at a the time, shot in right? Time. The, min, the minutes are accurate there. at the time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, that's it. Yes. At the time. Yeah. There good. were changes afterwards, but that, I go, was, yes. that was good. Okay. Good. All right. The next uh, set of minutes is the minutes for Tuesday, November the twelfth. Has everybody had a chance to review those minutes? Yes. Okay. Any changes or amendments? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion we approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. Next item is the meeting minutes for November 18. Uh, has everybody had a chance to review those minutes? Yes. Okay, any changes or uh, no, good. amendments? No. no. Okay, I make a motion we approve those minutes. Second. Next item, uh, second. Okay. Aye. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Next item is the. Um, a busy the minute, couple of weeks. The minutes for the Friday yeah. select board meeting, November twenty second. Do I have uh, any any amendments or additions to those uh, minutes? Seems uh, like it was just yesterday. It's yes, it was. Just about. Okay. Make a motion to approve those minutes. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Okay, next items, uh, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $151,420, a payroll warrant for $109,546, and a payroll deduction warrant for $27,588. Do so I have uh, any, any questions on those warrants? I'll make a motion we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. Yes. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Philip? You have um, so you is this since last Monday or last Tuesday? When was the last time we asked this question? <laughs> well, we asked this last, last not not on Friday, but uh, last Tuesday. All right, the 19th was the Conway School Committee. Um, and uh, th uh, Thursday the 21st was the finale, the grand finale of the, uh, the, con the College of Conway Knowledge. Uh, that that our uh, town administrator hosted, and I did attend that as well. Okay. Okay. So I wasn't able to get to your last meeting, Tom. I'm sorry, but I had pressing business. But we all did go to two meetings. We had the old committee's meeting, which you were at. Yes. Yes. That was what last Monday. Yes. And uh, and then we did have a select board meeting last uh, actually that Friday. Was Thursday. The, yeah. The, uh, that's right. Town Academy. Yeah. Thurs Thur the Thurs Town Academy was Thursday. Yeah. Right. Right. You had a select board meeting on Friday morning. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I was at the, the all committees meeting as well. I thought that was a very good meeting. Uh, I think we got a lot of good uh, information out of that meeting. Um, attended the um, Massachusetts Municipal Association Personnel and Fair Labor Policy Committee. And I'm always very happy when I leave those meetings because when I hear the, the personnel problems that other towns have and compare it to the uh, less challenges that Conway has, I mm. always come out of those meetings very happy. So <laughs> I also had a FERCOG personnel meeting uh, last week, which uh, was interesting, but had nothing to do with the personnel on town levels. Um, attended the town academy last Thursday 
Uh, and I, I certainly want to congratulate Tom and Lisa for putting that together. They worked very hard on the meetings. Uh, my only regret was that I couldn't be at all of them, but uh, I learned a lot at those that uh, I was at, and um, it was it was very useful. I think I got a lot of um, good comments from people over the last uh, uh, two months about how well they liked the fact that we're holding those and that those who attended were, were very, uh, very interested and informed by them. So, Tom, congratulations. That was great. Thank you, Lisa, for your help with that. Thank you. Um, and picked up a couple of volunteers. So. Yeah. Well, that's always good. Yeah. That's always good. All right. Um, public comment. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. Good. Okay. Old business. Special town meeting. Thomas. Uh, just a note that we did meet on Friday to amend uh, the special town meeting warrant that we'd uh, approved on Monday, adding uh, taking money out of garage stabilization for the garage project and adding um, using some free cash. Uh, the the number the um, the only written number I had was uh, was not the final number from the highway uh, mm -hmm. uh, facility committee. Uh, so those were those were changed, and the uh, we did put on also ballot language um, after that week, just mm -hmm. finding out that um, the uh, Highway F Facility Committee really, really wanted a quick election so that they can go out to bid as quickly as possible mm -hmm. in case it passes. Right. Right. Good. Okay. Great. Uh, and and those were those weren't really substantial changes. Uh, we made to that article. So, uh, next item on the agenda: um, Board of Cemetery Commissioners approval of Family Cemetery. Luke Meyer. Luke, come on up. How you doing, Sean O'Rourke? Good, Good to meet you. Hi, Luke. Hi. You're on deck. Phil. Nice to meet you. Okay. So tell us what we got here. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it's a just shy of a one-acre. Uh, lot that's been perked and surveyed as a cemetery. I was told basically all that the Board of Health requires here. Take a look at it if you'd like. Um, okay, sure is that the shaded area? Are you were looking at the back. Yes, it's the shaded area. Okay. Back here. This is Hart Road. And that's your house? Yeah. This is my house. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and, and basically that's going to be hollowed ground for your family, correct? Yeah. Okay. I mean, what a, yeah. And then how far down was the Shelburne Falls Road? I don't have that marked on here. I mean, this is essentially I mean, part of what went into the planning of this and the perking of this is that this is before the slope of the hill starts. Uh -huh. okay. So if you, yeah, you that's know what the, I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, you know the terrain, so you know it's that yeah. far the away. The taste field. But it's the end of where it was past here, before yeah. the trees start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you wanted a family plot bad enough that you perked it and surveyed it? Well, I live in contiguously with several members of my family, and so it's a joint effort. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and the, and the Board of Health has, has done all of their work on this and has, has, has passed it, essentially. Yeah, the, the Board of Health, it was mainly just a checklist of two items that I needed to accomplish. Okay. Which was the parking and the survey. Okay, and they've they've given us their their yes. blessing on this. Now we are acting as the uh, the board of cemetery commissioners. For and this. we're right on the verge of actually appointing. I thought we wanted to call it something else. Well, no. Well, yeah. no, well this, no, is, this but, is this is the one we're going to call it. This yeah, is this what we're going to call yeah, it. All right. right. We're going to call right. a different one. All right. And, and we are acting on that. And When's the last time we created a new cemetery in Conway? Is that yeah, the on memory. Have, have you yeah. recently? It, yeah. Not not relevant to this <laughs> well, right it's, now. It's, okay, it's great. Um, but we. I, have, I mean, I, I did look at. I just spent like two seconds looking, and, and there was some towns have didn't didn't put in the bylaw or whatever that lets you do this because <clears throat> there's concerns about property value. I, I I mean that's your yeah that's your concern <laughs> more than more than mine, um, and so I mean that's that was. It just makes it like two percent harder to sell or something like that. I don't know, but um, well, okay. But the, yeah, the, the uh, you know the, the board of health has cleared this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it, it's our job as the board of cemetery commissioners to give 
yeah. Luke and his family commission a permission to go ahead with this. Okay. We assume you'll be here for generations now because uh, well, you have like a cemetery to fill up. <laughs> Are you going to move Chaco? Phil. <laughs> well, he probably the there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, a, big, that's a big piece actually, of land, too, uh, Phil. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, uh, that's not a terrible question. No, but, no, no, no. But it's actually it's yeah, part of the inspiration. I it. bet it is. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well based, on, based on the recommendation of the Board of Health thanks, and that, that this has passed the Board of Health's approval, I, I would, I would as, acting as the Board of Secretary Commissioners, I would make a motion that we approve this family cemetery for the Meyer family on this piece of ground as uh, Luke has outlined it to us. Do I have a second? Sure. Is that a second? That's a yes. Sure. Is it sure? Is it sure? Okay. Universally acclaimed as a mark of affirmation. All, all in favor. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Any abstentions? No. Okay. Unanimously approved. Okie dokie. Thank you for coming in, Luke. Thank you. Yes, thank you for coming in. Have a good night. You too. Thanks. Okay, we'll do it. Good luck with everything. Okay, next item on the agenda, possible road work requests from Micah Kirtalonis. Michael, road long work. time no I see. I about road work, but... How you doing? Good, and yourself? Good to see you. Me too. How you doing? I saw that you were on the agenda. I wore a special skirt for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I guess I'll just start. What, what do you I just had two concerns. I had talked to, to Tom uh, last year, I think it was, or... And about 10 years ago, I brought it up and um, never really gained any traction. But I'm really concerned. I really think there needs to be a stop sign at the intersection of Cricket Hill and Waitley Road near that common. Cr with Cricket Hill? Old Cricket Hill Road and Waitley Road. And Waitley Road. Okay, so when you, you come told down you Cricket Hill? Do you no, when you come from the you church, well, there's no church anymore, but going towards the dump where it goes straight. Oh. The road goes to the left, and there's a yield sign there. That's right, there's a yield sign. I agree with you. There and, should uh, be a stop sign somewhere I do there. I don't know how many times that I've almost been in an accident there. I know, and I've warned my family, but I've seen it over and over again. People coming from the dump think because it's straight, Yes. they have the right of way. Absolutely. And, and it's, it's hard to look all the way back and make sure no one's coming. People, exactly. What you're, you're supposed to do with a yield sign I mean, anyway. You should, right, yes, right, but when, they you're, don't. when you're going towards the church, if you're on Waitley Road, they just pull right out in front of you. That's yeah. right. And, yes. um, yeah. 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 So I, I just would like so, to see a stop sign. So you're there. talking about a stop sign on Waitley Road? No. No, on old, stop Cricket, sign, old Cricket, Cricket Hill Road. On Old Cricket Hill Road. So okay, if you're yeah, that's where you got to stop. You have to stop. Just there. going towards right. the Right. Okay. Basically, replace the yield sign with a stop sign, I think. Maybe. Right. Okay. Um, and then the other spot. Okay, okay now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. What do we okay, have to right, do? Right, to right, one, one thing at a time. Okay, mm -hmm. so you were talking about a stop sign on Cricket Hill Road, right where the yield sign is now. Yeah. Okay. What do we have to do to do that? Yeah. Change it. I've Is talked that, to Kenny, okay. and he was going to look into it. There's a possibility that the apple trees will have to come out because the stop sign would have to, to typically get moved closer to the intersection. The yield sign now is back before the trees, but typically if you put a stop sign, you're going to have to put it near the end of the... Right. Are and then the apple some, trees some are... Painting on the road? Some. No, just a stop sign there would be, I mean... That's like Conway, um, okay. but the apple trees hinder the view from mm. <coughs> coming from Waitley. They do, yeah. Yes. Well, uh, Kenny was going to, or Chief Omet was going to look at the thing. All right, so that, that's something that you and Chief Komet, uh, yes. Komet can work out. Yes. And and that's all right with you. I'm okay. perfectly fine with that. I'm just worried that somebody's going to get on a, basically a head-on collision there because it's I, I, it's I, inevitable. I agree with you because I've seen, seen I've it. seen that situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought coming coming from Old Cricket Hill to Pumpkin Hollow too. There there's stop yeah. signs and just there, I, I always thought there should be stop signs in all directions there, especially when it well, gets. Well, I hate signs, but but, but and and, that's and, a and then there's a constant debate in, that I've heard in town over the years of when you're going to the dump or coming from the dump. Who exactly has the right of way? <laughs> Who exactly is supposed to pull over? And I've heard people shouting actually once about whether the person downhill has the right of way or the person going uphill has well, the right of way. Bigger I, I, the bigger vehicle. The big rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, never, I've never had a problem with people yielding or my yielding to them going up and down that road. 
I mean, people are courteous. They understand the situation. You know, I don't know, you know, what you... I always feel I always yield, and I don't get the yield back in equal numbers to the time that I yield. It, but, it's okay, <laughs> Phil. It's all right. Okay. Does it, anybody have any questions relative to this situation that Michael I, I'm just surprised we don't have to apply to the state or something like that, you know, that they have jurisdiction over it. Ron says no. But it's our police great. chief and Ron to, to, town to, road, to take care of this. Without, town road, great. I, I would hope it could be done without sacrificing trees, maybe yeah, we, we want to try not to sacrifice any trees. Especially the ones no, that my wife planted within not, the past uh, few years. You know, maybe some, maybe some trimming, but not total destruction. No, they ain't very big trees anyway. It's just that they... But let's, let's see if we can take some care with those, Ron, okay? All right. Any other questions for Mike on this issue? This issue. Okay. No? All right. I'll, I'll make a motion that... Um, Ron and Chief, we met, uh, investigate uh, replacing the yield sign on Cricket Hill Road going north on Cricket Hill Road. Old Cricket. Old, Old Cricket, Cricket Hill Road um, to replace that, um, that yield sign so it, it makes it a little safer for residents that are, that are coming into that intersection. Do I have a second? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Michael, what's your next item? Next item is a, another concern. Um, when they redid Waitley Road um, down near where the Hearts Gravel Road goes down, I've talked to Ron about this. Um, the road all, well, used to be, always be tapered to the inside. The water ran to the inside of the road. It almost was a little bit of a bank corner in that area, and the water ran to the inside into the catch basin. <coughs> I mean, the, the gutter and and out under the road. And when they regraded the new road, and I think it was graded properly, it's probably more when they did the blacktop. It's got a taper on both sides. And if you come in towards the center of town, there's a, there's a, it's it's kind of like tapered to the to the side. And ever since that road's been done, come a snowstorm, I see it all the time, um, where people there's skid marks there constantly. Um, my neighbor, Mrs. Singer. So she comes into town, you're bare to the left. You're bare to the left a little graded, bit, but it's graded to the right. Way. So, I see, yeah. And um, right there, uh, my neighbor went off the road with her car, and she, you're going to, there's a bank that probably drops, I don't know, 200 feet down. And um, I've just seen so many skid marks there. Um, I know I talked to Ron about it. His concern is if we put guardrails up there, then everybody's going to want them everywhere in town. I'm just really concerned about that. Um, many years ago on Chubham Falls Road, um, in, the, in the snowstorm, a gentleman went off the road down into the river, and he was in the river. He died, and he was in the river for a week. Oh, and the Where? kids, in Conway? Yes, and the kids on the school bus, because you're high up in the school bus, were telling people there, there's a car in the river, and nobody kind of believed them until one of the guys that doesn't have a license was walking there and he reported it and um, the guy was passed away in there and it just I just see that happening here call <laughs> a premonition whatever where, you want where, to call it where is that on Summer Falls Road? Uh, right across from the Harris farm that was kind of been demolished now huh. just as soon as the uh, and um, what happened the guy went off the road and then they plowed and you couldn't even see uh -huh. um, nobody's fault uh, but it, it happened. I can just see in this situation that if a car goes over that bank, nobody's ever going to see it. And she was lucky enough when she went off the road that she hit a, a tree that kind of hung her up. And um, did, did, just, you understand that incident, um, that person was cited for speeding? I, I have no doubt. And I think in general, a lot of people probably speed on that road. Um, it's not marked very well. I think it's 45 in an <laughs> unthickly settled area. I if think it's not, if it's if it's not posted, it's 45. Right, and it's 40. It's 40. It's 40. Really? Unposted yeah. road is 40. Un, unposted roads are 40. I thought okay. it was 45 myself. I thought it was 45 too. Did they change that recently? God, I have 45 in my head now for like all these years. Yeah, okay. like 50 years I've had that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So whether it's you're speeding or not, I've seen skid marks there. Whether the, I, I just think that there's a spot there that warrants it. I don't want to see anybody. How long? How long? Of, not very. Uh, you wouldn't need a very big guard, long guard reel, just to kind of detour them back into the how, road. How many feet are we talking about? Probably 30 <coughs> feet. 
Maybe. Don't ask me because I, I feel differently about what you're asking. Probably 30 feet of guardrails. Well, okay, but that has nothing to do with the measurement. Yeah. Okay. It's 30 Probably feet. 30 feet. If nothing else, just to detour people, cars back out on the road. Um, I don't care if you even plant some trees there or something to, to keep the cars from going over the bank. I just, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it's all since the road is graded the way it is. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's significant now. If you go at night, you can really see it. And uh, when you, it's, it's all only because of snowstorms. When, and when it's slippery out, it's not a good, it's not a good corner because you're going to the left and it's tapered to the right. Now, where exactly is this? If you're coming towards the center of town, yeah. um, Hart's Gravel Road, dirt road that goes down to the right, Okay. Just past that, you know where the the birds are up in the top of the trees and they they're yeah. taking pictures. Yep. right there. Okay. Right there. Okay. So, so do, do you think it is graded down like that, Ron? The road, the grade didn't change. No, no, but. Well, um, the road is pitched. Is yes. it is it's it pitched to, to shed water down? The road is pitched. Yeah, it's crowned. It's crowned. It's crowned. crowned. Yeah, but yeah. see, it was never crowned to the right. Well, that's because the road was probably so bad but when we redid it. That so what would it take to fix it? Fix the road. I think well, a lot you're of not going to fix the road. You can't no, fix no, the no, road. No, no. That'd be too expensive. Oh. I'm not asking for a lot no, of I, I just think there was, if they had a 30-foot guardrail there, something. I don't care if it's planted trees, just to keep the cars from going over that bank. That's all. Do we have a sign that with an arrow pointing to the left? It ain't going to do anything. It's not going to do curve, slow down. I don't know. But, um, why not, why not? Um, I mean, what? it's you know, one, an accident at one one accident at one place is an accident. Sure. Two accidents at the same place is a pattern. Like I can just tell you that if you go living on that road, if you would probably do a little survey of the people on that road, that spot since it's been redone and they did a fantastic job with that road, I think it's going to be there for a long period of time. There's always cars spinning out there. I've done it myself. Is there room for a guardrail? Oh yeah, because there's kind of like a space there, and then it cuts into the road, and then it drops right off to the off the hill. All right. Uh, what I would suggest, take a look at it. What I would suggest is that over the next couple of weeks, we all get a chance to run out there and take a look, and then we'll revisit the situation. Okay, and we'll get more opinions from Ron on that. Okay, and and certainly we, we thank you for your. What does it cost to the town for concern? thirty feet of guardrail? 30 feet of grill. What, yeah, what does it cost to the town? Like I roughly? Don't, I don't know offhand because there's a minimum in the bid of 100 feet, I believe. It's and not it's something we have laying around extra from some other job or something. Yeah, no, that has to be, no, there has, that has to be put in by, by, by what is it, well, state? Approved? No, no, we, we probably could do it, but I'm not, just look at it first. Yeah. Uh, no, Okay. All right. Because there's a lot of other things that go into it, so and I don't want to actually maybe schedule a site visit and go out there with Ron. Yeah. To look at it. Yeah. I can, I'm willing and, to and sh and meet with you too and show you where it is. I just I have kids driving now and I <laughs> I worry about them and that spot is I'm, like I said I travel that road every single day and it's it's not a good spot. Um, All right. Site visit. Okay. If you want to schedule one to go out together, if that's inconvenient, you know, you can, I'm sure Ron would be able to take each of you I can meet out there with any of you at any point in time during the day. Take five minutes to show you where it is, but. When are you, are you around at all, John? Well, hopefully. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's convenient. Yeah, okay, well, what, what are you guys talking about? Honestly, nighttime is a good time to see it because you can really see the, how much there is of t a uh, taper in the road, and between now and Thanksgiving is sure. good for me. Uh, between now and Thanksgiving, yeah. If you it's want, like if the you next want two days, yeah. Phil, when, Wednesday, days. Wednesday, 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 Wednesday afternoon works. That that'd be good for me. How about but when it, we're talking about? We're talking. Let's go in the light. How about Wednesday morning? Is Wednesday morning, good. Yeah, yeah. You, you call me, and is Wednesday morning good? Or we don't have. 48 hours notice. We need 48 posted. hours notice for a site visit? Well, it, it would be posted. Yeah, yeah. Why would we need that? Fine. 
Why can't we just not talk about go it? Go out there. Well, yeah, it's and, not. It's not <laughs> deliberative. Yeah, not talk about it with each I, other. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. see the need. Maybe not. Right. Nine o'clock. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll just all go out individually. Nine o'clock on, <laughs> on Wednesday morning. Okay, yes, is that and good? You just yeah. take care not to deliberate. That's all. Yeah, no opinions. Okay, no, no opinions. opinions. Just facts. and we'll just you just um, ask questions by chance. Meet with Ron here <laughs> at nine o'clock. Is that good for you? Okay, is that good for everybody? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's do that, and we'll we'll take a look and we'll sure. we'll see what we got. Yeah. But I thank you for coming in and expressing I, I have that concern. One more question. Another one. Just one more. I don't Three. see you very often. I know you guys miss me. Well, we do. Um, I got this in the mail, the um, oh, yes. survey. <coughs> oh, sure. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, you're going to hand it in. Penny for your thoughts. I haven't handed it in yet. I'm going to do that tonight. But I had a couple questions on it. Uh, obviously, you know, I have my own business. And, you know, some of the questions on here, I know that, what, five years ago we voted for the selectmen to have the authority to. Uh, Aggregate electricity. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, and to the average homeowner, you know, if we go with uh, non-fossil fuels and local electricity and all this other stuff, maybe your electric bill a month goes up $25. My electric bill is anywhere from five to $15,000 a month. So if we go to that, that's a major concern for me. Yeah, but see, and you, I, you, would, you would have a choice not to go with any additional. Okay, and I, that's what yeah. I'm asking yeah. about. Yeah. I want to know if we have an opt-out or something like that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So there's yeah, I would have never voted for it otherwise. And before, when yeah, we have the, the, and the before board, we have the chance yeah. to do that, will we see the rates of what we might? Well, absolutely. absolutely, yeah, yeah. And the board's not going to vote for something in which the rates go up. Um, Most likely, there will be um, uh, a well, grade of that. A, gra a grade <laughs> of electricity. Yeah. yeah, a grade of electricity equivalent to Eversource. The same amount of green as Eversource is required. Yeah, and. Generally, those are lower than a good deal lower than Eversource. I won't say a lot, well, but but I'm lower than Eversource. Low in my cost. Lower than Eversource, but. and then there will be some green options. Maybe one or two green options. You could increase the amount of renewable energy that's that that's being purchased on your behalf, mm -hmm. and uh, Greenfield has a hundred percent green energy purchased on their behalf, and it's still lower than Eversource. Now I'm all in favor so of lowering my energy. We price. don't know what our price for electricity is going to be. Right. But yeah. we won't do an aggregation that costs more than ever. We, you, we yeah. just we won't vote for one that costs more than ever source. Okay. We'll just stick with ever source. Yeah. And yeah. and we can come back and in a year we could go out for when the when the electricity is cheaper. I mean you know we can we can we can rebid at a future time and we may not even start the aggregation until then. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to drive the cost. But we I, wanted I, to I, get I, uh, mostly what kind you know we wanted to get a feel for what people think about green energy and a hot ener issue that's come up is <coughs> are you opposed to burning wood? And so one of the questions in there was would you be opposed to Conway including wood fueled electricity right. as in our green energy bit? So and some you know I'm, I don't know what people are going to think. I don't know either. I have a little experience with that. Uh, I worked for a welding company in Deerfield, and we, this was back in the 80s, and we we built a machine that would burn <coughs> tires because it was a huge amount of tires hmm. that they didn't know what to do with. And if you remember, Ron does, there used to be a guy that drove around with a Cadillac with a big turbine on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> but he was an eccentric person, but he was uh, really smart, and he built this dome or I helped them build it it would chew up the tires and it would burn so hot that the the emissions going out the smokestack was like nothing it was unbelievable mm -hmm. but every time they would come to test it the government there would be a hiccup I'd see it run for weeks at a time with no no problems they would come put the meters up and there'd be a problem and uh, so I'm not opposed to the wood burning because I know you can burn it hot enough to be clean but so the state is in the process of changing some of the regulations so would may qualify yeah. for what they call renewable energy credits. Yeah. And, okay. And, and there's a lot of towns where there's, they're really opposed to wood, and I just we wanted to get a sense of what people in Conway think. Okay. okay. Great. All right. Thanks, you guys. Great. Have a Thank happy you. Thanksgiving. You too. See you, Michael. You too. So Take we'll care. see you on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll see you at 9 o'clock. Great. Have a good night. See you. you too. Too.
Okay, next item on our agenda, approve the pilot agreement with Nexamp for the solar facility on Main Poland Road. Okay, this is the formal agreement that we have already. Yep. So this is just like the one that we talked about a week yes. or two ago. Yeah, this is just the, the formality. This yeah, the, the other one was, was uh, the, an outline of the terms. Yeah. And this is the fully fleshed out agreement. Okay, and it's going to be entered into and made as of 11, 20. 25, 19. Okay. All right, so we, we've already voted for this, but I'll make a motion that we approve the formal agreement for Nexamp uh, between Conway Solar LLC and the town of Conway. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? Any opposed? Any abstentions? No. Okay. So this is the only place we have to sign, I assume. Okay, we have some license renewals. We have um, a used car dealer's license class two to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles, and this is for a Wesco. Okay, is everybody aware of that? They have uh, this license. This is just an annual license that we signed. For I them. didn't know they even did that, but well, but great. Um, it, it's just for like surplus type stuff. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion that we approve uh, this license uh, for used car dealer's license, second class for that's to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles. This is for Oesco. Do I have a second? Sure. All in favor? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, the next license is for a used car dealer's license class two to buy and sell second-hand motor vehicles. This is for Mr. James Costigan doing business as J&J &J Auto Sales. They're located at 770 East Guinea Road in Williamsburg. Mm. Um, this is again a, a, a normal uh, yearly license for him. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, that we approve this used car dealer's license second class to buy and sell second hand motor vehicles for Mr. James Costigan doing business as J and J Auto Sales located at seven seventy East Guinea Road in Williamsburg. And that and that is uh, conditional on his uh, providing a bond. Uh, which uh, his his bonding agency doesn't give them out until the first of December, but we have to approve them earlier. Okay. So. Second, conditioned on his bond. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So in here it didn't say conditional. You just had that. It, it, it's yes. okay. But yeah. Cool. Okay. The next license is for. Okay, we have um, two licenses for uh, Ms. Helen Baker doing business as Bacon's, Baker's Country Store and Luncheonette, Route 116 Conway. Uh, it is a um, Vicular's a license, common Vicular's license, and a license uh, to sell um, diesel, gasoline, and oil products. Okay, and again, this is this is just uh, a renewal of an annual. So they're license. not on the agenda. Can we... the, uh, they're one of the license renewals. I guess we've got their paperwork in and great. everything's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'll make a motion that we approve both these licenses one for a common Vicular's license and Say that again? one Vicular's. Vicular's? Vicular's. Vicular's. Food. Yes, yes. Uh, there, you uh, go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, and also to prevent <coughs> the selling of diesel, gasoline, and oil products. Do we have second. a second? Second. All right, all in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay, any, any nays or any abstentions? 
No, it looks like unanimous vote. Okay. All right, next item is employee recognition for a James Bernier. Uh, James um, has served the town of Conway for 15 years. Wow, he's one of our police officers. 15 years, that's great. We have um, Paul Lloyd, who has uh, five years with the town. Congratulations. And... Ms. Ginny Knowlton served the town for 40 years. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion that we sign these letters of congratulations for service to the town. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Tom, do we have any items non anticipated 48 hours in advance? We'll, uh, we'll get them the, uh, we'll get these redone. Uh, no, not, not yet. Okay. Do we have an update, Tom? I do. Under committees, boards, etc., as you probably noticed, the surveys for electricity aggregation went out last week. We were just talking about that. You may have gotten them on Thursday. So far, we have received 79 responses. I can now uh, raise that to 80. <laughs> <laughs> out of 842 letters mailed, 9.4 response rate so far, which I consider excellent already, and I think we're going to get more in as well. Uh, I'm working with Peter Martin as chair of the Energy Committee on the annual Green Communities Report. UMass's Clean Energy Center no longer has a Green Communities intern, so we're having to enter the data in the Mass Energy Insight system ourselves. Uh, there's a deadline of December 4th if mm -hmm. we want to apply for any Green Communities grants during the next round, but the Energy Committee seems to have lost some motivation for seeking grants after the Community Solar Project presented logistical uh, problems beyond any local <coughs> capacity to solve. If one volunteer on one committee can make such a difference. Yeah. They lose one volunteer that's into the grants and that's what happens. Uh, in departmental news, this special town meeting warrant is that the copiers and should be sent to the mail house tomorrow and they should be mailed this week either Wednesday or Friday. And the town academy wrapped up Mentioned earlier, thank you, with its seventh and final session this past Thursday featuring the permitting bodies, the Conservation Commission, Board of Health, ZBA, and the Planning Board. We maintained an average of about 12 non presenter <coughs> attendees for the seven meetings, a larger turnout than I had expected, and received eight evaluation forms, all of which were positive. We gave out 20 of the 24 binders we had prepared, and at least three couples who attended only took one for both individuals. So the estimate of 24 as the number of total attendees <coughs> was close. Finally, I'm pleased to say that the Town Academy has produced a volunteer for the Finance Committee and a possible EMT and or firefighter. Since one of the purposes of the sessions was to stimulate interest in volunteering for town activities, I'm happy we had some results there as well. Yes, congratulations again, Tom. Thank That's you. That's fantastic. Uh, WGBH in Boston requested information on Conway's host community agreements. <coughs> we are not among those towns being sued, perhaps in part because we have no retailers, but also because we did not ask for more than the law indicated. In other press news, Dominic Poli from the Recorder asked for the special town meeting warrant and spoke to me about it, so I expect a story on that soon as well. The highway superintendent and I met with FEMA and MEMA representatives this past Friday for a site visit to Delabar Avenue. 
We also went over various other preparations for finalizing our grant proposal for bank stabilization. The next steps won't be taken until January, but this represents substantially more progress than we've made in the past. And we've concluded our business with the Leshevsky grant from the Guilford Fund. Great. All construction was completed and inspected. The lien is signed, and we expect to record it in the next couple of days. Okay. Is, um, is Mr. Leshevsky back in his home? <coughs> I believe so. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Just have, have, with FEMA and MEMA, do they come out and inspect things that they end up not funding? Or do they, when they come out and inspect things, is that usually a good sign that a grant application is going to be received favorably? Um, this is the first time that our grant a uh, application has been received favorably enough for them to come out All right. for a site inspection. I guess that's a good answer. <clears throat> so that's, uh, it's, it's another step along their process. Now we have to submit our updated hazard mitigation plan which is one of the reasons we do a hazard mitigation. That's the only reason we do a hazard mitigation. <laughs> no, it's a good idea to have one, but it does also uh, qualify us to receive these grants. And uh, <clears throat> working with Kimberly at the Franklin Regional Council of Governments to do that, and uh, we expect to have a final report in by the end of the year. This will mean one more meeting in Conway sometime in December, <clears throat> um, uh, and, and then wrapping that up and her sending it off so Good. we expect that by the end of the year and they're not going to move forward till January so that's fine mm -hmm. okay great thank you Tom concerns of the selectmen do we have any concerns tonight no no concerns Phil yeah. no. okay good All right. announcements okay we have an announcement okay there will be a reading of Dickens yes. Christmas Carol sponsored by the Firemen's Auxiliary at the fire station annex on Friday, December 20th at 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, this is free and open to the public. Donations to the auxiliary are suggested but not required. We apparently have 15 Conway citizens um, who will read various characters. It is performed as if it's being broadcast live in front of a studio audience complete with a sound, FX, and commercials. What is sound FX? Sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. That's it, what that said. It, uh, it, sound it's, uh, effects. It's I see. A, uh, okay. With food from the craft. Uh, so, uh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not part of this craft, so I don't know. Um, the seating is limited, and there are no ticket sales. Seats are claimed on a first-come, first-served basis. Snacks and drinks will be available. Because this is a listening experience, listening in quotes, uh, it might not keep the attention of very young children. So I guess that's kind of a hint where don't bring your little kids. Okay, come and enjoy uh, Christmas. Uh, come and enjoy Christmas joy with friends and neighbors. Okay, that's the announcement. Do we have any other announcements? No. Okay. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, December the 9th at the town office at 6 o'clock <coughs> prior to the special town meeting at the Conway Grammar School at 7.30 p.m. Okay, and now we're going to go into a, an executive session. Uh, and what we will do, uh, we'll go into executive session for reason number three, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining report and discussion regarding Union 38 Teachers Union negotiations. Philip? Yes. Yes. Yes, and we will um, um, adjourn we'll from, from executive session.